me supposed to go in it? <sighs> of course, my hot pink bikini. Ha ha ha! That's my Monday morning. If I can take it apart, I can put it back together. Much like my life. I think this is my winner. I'm having a horrible time. <laughs> mm, yeah. Why do bad things happen to good people? I don't think they know about second breakfast. My favorite comfortable bra. Oh my god. It, <laughs> I'm so sad. It got caught, I think, in the door of the washing machine and it's literally been shredded. I cannot believe the level of damage that has been done to this bra. I love this bralette. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable. That's my Monday morning. That is my Monday morning for <laughs> crying out loud. Why do bad things happen to good people? I'm being dramatic, but that's going in the bin for obvious reasons. But good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Monday to you. It's bright and early on a Monday morning. I have just edited a video and it's before, what's the time? It's 7.23. It is early and a video has already been edited this morning. I am feeling good i want to get all of my youtube work done today first thing this morning so i can do other work this afternoon last night I had a fit of hyper focus and i moved the sofa there's lots that's going on but i hope you had a lovely weekend and a lovely week i went to the smith and western last night for laz's birthday um it's like a texan restaurant um like themed and <laughs> I told them it was Laz's birthday and they sell something called the Belly Buster. I think it's called a Belly Buster and it's basically, I'll show you, I'll insert a clip here. <laughs> it's the biggest sundae you've ever seen. There's brownies, marshmallows, ice cream, cream. M&M like it is an absolute monster. I ate the majority of it. <laughs> Laz and her brother and it was really nice for Laz's birthday and I was designated driver so I got home relatively early, woke up feeling fresh this morning ready to crack on with another week. Yeah this week we are doing Ibiza prep. What day next week do I leave? Is it Tuesday or is it Wednesday? next tuesday so i leave a week tomorrow so this week is all about getting my nails booked in getting my wax done sorting out everything that needs to be ticking on behind the scenes while i'm away so i've got a busy busy week am i doing anything this weekend oh yeah i am but yeah i've got a very busy week this week next week's vlog is going to be an ibiza vlog haven't done one of those in a while um a year <laughs> last time i went <laughs> yeah i hope you're excited for a new week i'm gonna go film a tiktok now so yeah let's go food i got some food i have had an empty fridge <laughs> i have not been eating properly oh my favorite snack the caramel snacker jacks asparagus nectarine chocolate protein pudding shredded iceberg because i'm lazy more protein puddings i've been living off of hummus recently carrots and pizza for said hummus white chocolate grenade bars and salted caramel grenade bars i've already had a grenade bar today honey fajita mix greek yogurt cucumber bananas salsa i also got bread turkey mince the usual courgette peppers but i put them all in the fridge so i need to make my turkey pasta because i haven't made that in like three weeks so i'm gonna make that probably this evening so that that can feed me for the week but i need to make myself some breakfast so i think i'm just gonna have scrambled egg on toast something simple scrambled egg second breakfast i don't think they know about second breakfast i've been sitting here on the floor recently i just had a wave of motivation to edit the vietnam vlog because obviously i'm going to america soon and I'll be vlogging that. So I really want all of my previous travel vlogs to have been live before I start posting America. I've done the rough cut of Vietnam. I'm about halfway through doing the final edits for it. Hopefully I'll get this up in the next couple of weeks. And then all I've got left is Hong Kong, which is the shortest out of all of them. So that shouldn't take me too long. But yeah, I want to get those up before America. I have booked our hostel for New Orleans yesterday so that's very exciting yeah so that's incredibly exciting and we leave on the 27th am i right no 
I keep thinking we leave on the 27th, it's the 24th. We fly to Nashville on the 24th of August until the 9th of September. So um, obviously those three Sundays that I'm away, there won't be a weekly vlog. I'm gonna post something different instead. I'm gonna aim to still get two videos up a week while I'm away. I'm gonna try my absolute best. If I don't, I'm really sorry, but I am gonna try. I'm gonna at least get you guys a Sunday video for to replace the weekly vlogs and then you'll get a America vlog when I get home. Maybe I'll split it up, but I don't know. I feel like seeing how long it took me to do <laughs> the Asia and South America vlogs, maybe splitting them up is risky. We'll just see. I will be filming a video so you have something up every Sunday while I'm gone, but um, it just won't be a weekly vlog but there'll probably be vlogs of some nature. I'm just actually going through my calendar and kind of planning my content for the next three months. And the next three months look completely insane. So, ha ha ha. <laughs> the way that my life is looking right now is like calm before the storm. And the fact that I'm completely overwhelmed at the moment um, is not putting me into good stead for the storm. <laughs> I literally, <laughs> this is the level I've got to. This is insanity. I feel like every time I answer the door to you, I'm just more and more disheveled. No, you're usually pretty cool. Would like to oh try. Oh my god. Grape. Can you have a grape? Yeah. No. Oh. I do that thing when you're in bed when you're younger and you have to get something to the floor. But you'd lean as far as you can. Yeah, you refuse to get off the bed. Just then I was like, no! Someone just sent me <laughs> five reminders for a burnt out creative. <laughs> Not me. Not this guy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Napping when you said you'd create isn't a fucking war crime. Your creations won't be any better just because you got it done quicker. You don't need to rush towards your destiny. You don't need to keep up momentum to stay relevant or be at battle with stagnancy. 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 Trust the rhythm of your creative journey. Stillness is not stagnancy. You're always evolving. You are the momentum. You're not a bad artist if you're not creating right now. And you can achieve your wildest creations dreams just going slow and resting often. You know what, that's and insightful. I need to take a photo of... <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> oh, no, it's a question about we had this conversation. <laughs> Wait, so, sorry, I've now opened the notion. I'm you're also in. now. Hello, welcome. Welcome. To I'm now joining the meeting. Welcome. Thank Hi. you for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure and an honor. So what time are we doing it with the boys? Piggybacks. Don't we fuss on their backs. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, come. Do you know what I mean? What about that? <laughs> it's like dog food or something. It's about, you eat one a day. Change it up, I feel the rich from once today, not a corn one. Got a bit Does it taste any different? I will just um proteinous foam means mm. this one a little bit better. <laughs> Not really. God, I'm so glad we were actually planned this. I know, I wish I won it last week. But that's why you have good days and then the bad today's actually not a bad day. We like haven't morning. started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because loads of shit's gone wrong in your life the last few days that you're like, it's a bad day. Everything <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a horrible time. <laughs> Here are our options. I think these two are already a no. I'm leaning towards Mr. Labrador here, but we will soon see, won't we? Oh God. <laughs> that wasn't even me doing it for the camera. <laughs> that caught me that off guard. That was a genuine whale of pain. <laughs> oh God. You're getting closer. <laughs> My wax lady's really nice, okay? <laughs> she doesn't mean to hurt me. I really don't. No. 
<laughs> she does it with love. <laughs> Wax in a little glove. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. There's no going back when you've done this. No going back when it's on there. That'll do. Hello, I'm waxed. Um, and I went to home base and got some paint samples, which is exciting. And I also picked up some stationary things that I needed. I'm just sipping on a monster, you know, essentials. I'm gonna crack on with a little bit of editing before Scarlett inevitably texts me saying, let's go to the gym. <laughs> you got me feeling like a firebolt, hot in the sky. Looking like a thunderstorm, boy. You will have seen I was a busy little worker bee yesterday. Painted these here swatches for the office. I think this is my winner here because the shelves are going to be painted the same colour. It's going to look really sophisticated. Me, sophisticated. <laughs> but no, I think it will. And then I can add all of my colour and my funky things. But I feel like that's the best, the best undertone because in some lights it looks a little bit pink. And in some lights it's more beige and in some it's almost grey. But I don't want grey. It, it's just like a grey, like a greyish. I'm so glad that I've waited because initially when I was going to paint this room, I was going to use this colour, which if you can see next to these, it's much darker and more green, which I love. I love it. But I'm actually thinking of maybe painting my living room this colour. I love the green. I really love the green. In the summer I love it. And I say this every single year. In the summer, I love this green room. It, you know, when the light comes in for that one time of day, it feels like a greenhouse. It feels like an extension of the garden. It feels like you're outside. It's so nice, especially with all my plants. And I love it. But in the winter, it is the most depressing thing. It is so gloomy and dark. I've got a black fireplace that just absorbs all the light. Massive black TV, black art, like everything in here is so dark and the winter it just makes me miserable. So I think preemptively when I get my office painted I may also get my living room painted and I'm tempted to maybe keep one wall green, maybe this wall green and then keep a green on the other walls but this more like greyish green. I'm not sure. Or do I just paint all of them and retire the green? Part of me wants to, I don't know if it's possible, part of me wants to paint my kitchen cabinets green. Use like a similar shade of green so it's somewhere in my house. Because they're obviously low, there's not many of them. And I think that green would go really nicely with this dark worktop. Green. I think that would be quite the vibe, but I don't know. Oh, there's a wasp. Piss off. You're not welcome here, but I don't know. I don't know if that's even possible. Well, I think it I think it is possible, but will I regret it? I think if I get rid of the green in here, I will put green somewhere because I love it. I love having a green living room. I don't know. 
I don't know chickens, I don't know. But something needs to change because I can't go through another winter in this room like this, I can't do it. It looks great for a few months of the year and then it makes me really sad. <laughs> Good morning. I have an incredibly busy day today. <laughs> an incredibly busy day today. My first point of call, however, is going to the nail salon, which whenever I'm like, I've got such a busy day and one of those things is getting my nails done, I always feel like such a dick. But um, I'm obviously going to Ibiza on Tuesday and I'm going with Kiss who do lashes and press on nails and they want me to not have anything on my nails. Oh, that's my, that's my have my makeup finished timer. So that's gone really well. Yeah, so I need to go get these nails taken off. And then the rest of the day, I have a shoot today, which I'm not filming for the vlog. I'm filming for a separate video, but today is a photo shoot day at a studio. So I'm getting ready for that now <laughs> so that when I get home, I can just get ready to go. It's an exciting little day. I came on my period this morning. So not the best timing. I feel rubbish. And it also means I'm gonna be on my period in Ibiza. That is being a woman sometimes, it happens. You can't always plan for these things. That's gonna have to do. I probably won't speak to you guys massively today, but I will be speaking to the camera a lot today. So uh, you'll see all of this really soon. I'm really sorry that I've not had a midweek video up in the past couple of weeks. My office is currently not filmable, so I can't film sit down videos. Um, and it's the only room that gets light. I pinky swear I'll make up for it soon. I pinky, pinky swear I'm filming so many videos. I have so many Tidy Space, Tidy Minds filmed. I just need to edit them. So there is stuff coming, I promise. I'm really sorry that I've been a bit rubbish. Just know that I'd feel really guilty for it and I am working on it, okay? I promise. I really gotta go. <laughs> Hi boo, okay, I'm home from the salon. These are my natural nails. We cut them down quite a lot because obviously I don't want them to break. That would be very sad. We do have one that's split, so we've had to glue it. But obviously I'm going with Kiss and they sent me loads of their fake nails. So for the shoot today, I'm not going to have to go completely bare. And I also don't want to risk them breaking. So I want to put something on them. So this is what I'm about to put on my nails. The Bare But Better True Nude Nail. These are the shortest ones that they've got, S short. And they're like a square shape because this is literally, I only need these to stay on for like a few days until Tuesday when I'm gonna put on some longer ones for Ibiza. The next step of my self-care Ibiza prep day uh, is doing my own nails after coming home from the salon. And I think these are gonna look super nice they're literally the exact same length as my natural nail the most boring part is finding the ones that are gonna fit you i have really tiny little nails and tiny little fingers so usually fake nails are a little bit too big for me but no we have a match right let's find the other ones it's a trial and error no, you're too big for me. Oh, where's the other one that's the same size as this? Oh, I can't get over the fact that these are my real nails. I'm gonna put on a vlog and watch them while I do it. Seems like just yesterday out in the yard there on our backs when the sky was so dark Watching the satellites passing like dust in the air And speaking of planets and distance and time I reach for your hand and you reach for mine Good evening my loves It is 9.30 um, I am drinking a cup of tea after a very long day Really fun day but exhausting. I am so tired. <sighs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm spent. I'm out. I'm done. I just realised that I need to put those sheets on my bed. Because I fake tanned last night and slept in them. So I need to put the sheets back on. Actually, I need to put them in the tumble dryer. Anyway, I'm having a cup of tea and I'm currently crying. <laughs> because I am two minutes into an episode of the new season of Our Planet. And basically, David Attenborough could literally sit there and it would make me cry. He is 
the best person in the world and I just get emotional um, whenever I hear his voice basically <laughs> one of my longest standing love affairs oh yes okay my sheets are dry it's just a duvet cover don't judge me one of the opening clips was just like this amazing clip of a whale and I immediately welled up <laughs> it's the David Attenborough effect you know so I'm gonna sit and enjoy this now my nails held held up really well and I think they looked pretty good I need my bed next week's vlog is just purely gonna be Ibiza because I'm there from Tuesday through Friday so I'll just make that its own vlog I think so I'll vlog all day tomorrow as well to make up this vlog because I feel like it's again quite short because I'm filming like four videos in <laughs> at the same time at the moment so a lot of the content that I would fit, fit <sighs> sorry when I get tired I start I stammer um <laughs> my brain just starts shutting down <laughs> oh no what was I saying oh uh, yeah a lot of the content that I'm filming for other videos at the moment I would usually put in the vlog so that's why the vlogs are a little bit choppy at the moment. I promise they'll soon be a little bit more fluid and cohesive and meaty. But a lot of the meat is going in other things. But hopefully we'll make something out of this. I also haven't been to the gym. So this is two vlogs now with no gym clips. I'm deeply sorry. As soon as I'm back from Ibiza we'll be back on the gym game. But I've basically taken two weeks off. I went twice last week. Yeah, right, okay, I'm rambling. To bed. <laughs> I love you. Good night. I'm going to Ibiza on Tuesday and I have no idea what I'm taking with me. So I thought I'd show you a few things that I'm going to take. My hair. Sorry, just ignore it. Do I feel emotionally, physically or mentally ready to go to Ibiza? Do I look emotionally, mentally or physically ready to go to Ibiza? The answer is no. But it's going to be super fun. It's going to be great. I... It's gonna be great. I'm not gonna try any of these clothes on with you because I'm not gonna lie, I'm on my period and I feel like utter shit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put them on the bed and then I'm half packed. Needs a must, okay? I haven't got anything new for this trip. Usually if I'm going on a brand trip, I'll buy outfits that are in like the brand colors and try and kind of look cohesive with the branding so that the photos look good because I know there's gonna be like loads of their branded stuff everywhere. But, Kiss hasn't got like a super super clear color palette um, and also I don't want to buy loads of new stuff for four days I'm trying to be better at that I'm gonna work with what I wore to be the last year honestly I also got a few things that I didn't end up wearing this super cute sarong and it's sheer but I think for a photo op that'd be really cute I don't know if I'll wear it to a beach party though because I think it would be really annoying but I'm gonna take that oh last year I lived in these little cover-ups so i'm gonna take them so they just make me feel a little bit more comfortable um like walking around because i don't feel comfortable walking around in a bikini that's just a bikini and having those little like matching skirts make it look like a vibe but also give me a bit more coverage and make me more comfortable because i want to just relax and have fun i don't want to be worrying about how i look oh i think i'm going to get a picture of me in this swimsuit my patrick tuck Patrick Tar, my Patrick Star swimsuit. It's got like a really low back. So groovy. Love that. Lilac bikini. I need to find the bottoms for you. A little green boob tube. Boob tube. I want to be colourful this summer. Baywatch style swimsuit. Cute. Oh yeah, another little diamante like cover up. I never wore this. I feel like it didn't fit me. It's this like kind of tie-dye satin. I'll try that on tomorrow. <laughs> Not today. Cute little orange skirt. Orange and green moment. That could be cute. Bikini bottoms that go with the skirt. Cool. Little red boob tube. Oh, this little red dress. Cute. Okay, we got a white maxi dress. I think just like a long white dress is always safe for a holiday. Of course, my hot pink bikini. This one, I genuinely just, I don't believe I will wear. I have to feel very brave to wear this bikini. It's tiny. It is tiny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just for a photo. I don't know if I'd actually wear it, like, to go to a beach club. We got a little pink dress. 
You guys know my obsession with cobalt blue. So I've got a blue one. I've got a green. I've got a cute little stripey number. I've got a yellow. We're basically going for all the primary colours right now. <laughs> like a neon yellow. Fun. I'm going to take this dress, but I think I will be too hot in it because it's like a knitted fabric, but maybe for an evening. Little blue shorts to wear maybe with this during the day. It's like hanging around the hotel. Not that there's a lot of time on these trips for hanging around a hotel, but you know. Oh my god, this little dress. Love this. 100% coming with me. This like matching really cute like sheer maxi skirt. And then it's got a matching boob tube that I think will give like proper little beach goddess vibes. So I need to find the boob tube. That's somewhere in this house. Okay, I've now got like an idea. Because this is my only kind of beach holiday this year. Um, I'm not going on any other holidays apart from obviously America, but that's going to be a very different vibe. That's like shorts and a baggy t-shirt every day going hiking and fishing. <laughs> not getting super dressed up to go to a beach party, you know? It's a very different vibe. That's another reason I'm not buying anything new for this trip. I don't need to because I'm only going to wear it for this trip. Like, I'm not going to wear any of this stuff in the UK. That's a rough idea of what I'm going to be taking. Just a lot of like bright colours. Lots of dresses, lo just loads of colour, and lots of sparkles. I'm sad I'm not going to go on like a beach holiday or like a pool holiday this year. I'd really love some proper like relaxing sunbathing time because I will not be doing any of that on this trip. My new lemon bikini has to come, I love that. But that's okay, hopefully it means I can go on a bigger, better trip next year you know that is roughly what i'm gonna take oh makeup is just gonna be exactly the same my everyday makeup i'm not gonna do anything special for makeup all i need is products that i know are gonna stay on my face sorry i'm just still looking around i am gonna end this week's vlog here oh i want to take you with me yeah i'm just gonna be doing this for a while so <laughs> i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this little video i hope you have a great day hope you're looking forward to the ibiza vlog i have a feeling it might be a bit chaotic as ibiza vlogs often are <laughs> and i will see you guys very soon bye